Hi all, welcome to another video of Angular PrimeNG tutorial. In this video, I will explain how we can implement PrimeNG dialog in an Angular application. So before getting into the code, this dialog have a basic one and the long content one. So basic one, it, it's simply showing a dialog without any under underlay. Okay. And there will be another option which is long content. If we have more content, automatically it will uh, it will have a scroll bar and particular a dialog contain a header section a content section and also a footer section and we can also implement a model so the dialog and model the main difference is if you are giving uh, this dialog as a model it will have an underlay option otherwise so I can't able to click anything it will fully block the uh, background okay so next one is like responsiveness so when we adjust the screen size it will automatically adjust the model so that is the responsiveness of a particular model and we can also have the option to maximize so there will be a button and if you click on it it will uh, maximize the dialog into an entire screen then another option is like we can position this particular model on the left side then or right side or there are different options available okay so these are the things we are going to discuss in this tutorial so coming to the code before implementing the prime ng dialog we should have a button when we click on the button we have to implement the prime ng dialog for implementing the button i already imported a button module from the prime ng button and i have added in the import section and in the html i am using the p button and on click of the button i am calling a function show model and in the ts file i am just simply written that function so this is what i have written right now so this is a button next thing is like when we click on this button i have to implement a model and when we close it it should hide that model okay so for implementing a model we have we need two modules okay so the two modules are browser animation modules and also the dialog module so browser animation modules is from the platform browser animations because when you click on a button there should be some animation going on so that is the one thing and the dialog module is the main module we need to import from the prime ng for the uh, for showing the dialog or model okay so i'm just imported and you have to add those modules inside the import section So once that has been implemented, let's get into the HTML section. So HTML already we have a button. So to implement this prime ng dialog, you can simply write p dialog, and the main mandatory fields of this p dialog is like header. What is the heading of this particular dialog? So I am giving a title and also we have an option called visible so visible i am just giving now as true and i am giving a content here so this is a very basic um, structure of a p dialog so you can see it automatically opens i didn't click even the button but it automatically shows a model with the title and a close button and the content with a small you know small dialogue one so what is happening here so when visible is true means automatically it will always it will always show the model so if you if you make this as false means it will hide so our functionality is whenever I click on this button show that variable should be true and when we close that model or dialog it should be the variable should be false. For making that we will create another variable in this component.ts that variable name is display model and I am telling this is a boolean and I am telling display model boolean is initial value will be false that means i have to hide the dialog box initially okay and when i click on the button only i have to show this model for that purpose display model in the show model that means when the button clicks it will call the show model and inside this one 
I can make it as a true. Coming to coming to this part, instead of uh, giving a manual value, you can give as display model, and you have to give two-way binding because the model can be closed from the HTML as well. Okay, so it should be a two-way binding variable. Okay, let's see what's happening now. Now the model is not there. When you click on show, the model will appear. And when you click on the close button, the model will disappear. So it is working fine. Okay. The next part is how we can design or how we can give more content inside this particular section. So for example, if your title have more content, there is an option like a, we can we can write an ng template here. Okay. So if you didn't write any ng template, um, for example, I am telling a content here and I am telling ng template, then I am telling the p template equal to footer and I am adding a button. not adding any functionality now I'm removing this one and the label is cancel confirm so you can see the two buttons is available now one is cancel and one is confirm so if you want to mention a footer section you can give a p template footer and we can close this one and I, you can add as many things away need to be available in the footer section if you are adding directly inside the speed dialog that will automatically think okay it's a heading section the same way if you are thinking your title is too long okay or you need to add more html or more design in it what you can do you can remove this header from here and you can add an ng template p template equal to header see this way also you can change the title as well or you can give the CSS uh, or whatever uh, the things you can add it okay content also what you can add is I'm just copying some lorem ipsum font um, ipsum. so I'm adding inside a paragraph tag so you can see I'm just adding uh, this lorem epsom content also okay so it will automatically adjust I think the size is getting too big so if you want to adjust the size either you can give a style here okay so in the p dialog there is an option called style so either you can give a class if you don't want to write an inline CSS which is not preferable so one thing you can do here is like a weight I'm saving I'm saying like 50 VW then it will automatically come with a scroll bar if you are not giving a width it will automatically takes the whole width okay or you can give a style class and you can see dialog example and what you can do go to your CSS part and you can give host then you can give your class name and you can give the width as well see it will work okay so this is how 
and this is how it will work for uh, a long content the basic content and how we can implement um, or manipulate uh, the header or change the header structure and the footer structure as well now we have we can implement the model so if you want to implement the model or like if you want to um, block the content behind the scenes you can give the model as a true so if you click on show see it will block the content behind the scenes and also if you are want to um, write some functionality on on click click I'm just mentioning you can either write a functionality now I am telling like display model equal to false that means on click I am just hiding that model saving it show confirm show confirm or if you can click on escape to close the model okay if you do, don't want those type of features there are different options I will come to that point so before that I'm, I just covered the model section the responsiveness also you can give different types of breakpoints okay these breakpoints I need a width of if the if my screen is 96 or above it will be like a um, you know 75 uh, viewport width okay the same like 6, 640 it will be like a 100 viewport width. so we can give the maximum screen sizes okay so and also you I have mentioned the header uh, we can give like this and the footer also we can give like this next thing is like how to position this model so if by default the position will be in the middle section right so if you want to change the position to the top or right just simply give here position equal to right or left or different options are available based on that you can add the conditions so this is how we can add a positions okay this is how we can implement uh, this model section and there are different other options are available if you see on the bottom section so now it is draggable so if you are just removing this model section you can see that this model is draggable you can position to any place so for hiding that one you can mention a draggable equal to false sorry I will make it as a so you can see it doesn't able to drag okay then keeps dialogues in the viewport uh, based on the responsiveness and the resizable the next thing you can see is uh, this resizable so is resizable also so you can give resizable equal to false okay so th there are different types of uh, options available the visibility we have already shared so you can have a look on it so main things we are using is um, this visible resizable we can use visible then model you can position you can use so these type of things you can use inside the uh, model section and also you can give style style class as well and if you want to implement some drop down inside this model there sometimes there will be issues so you can give uh, up and to equal to body and you can adjust the z index if you are facing any issue uh, or in issue of for drop downs inside the model okay and also if you want to write some functionality based on the events you can have on show on hide on resize on resize and on drag and on maximize inside this particular model and also i forgot to uh, tell you one thing i i told you how to maximize the content right so for doing that e there is an option to maximize it let me come to that point there is a, there is an option called 
maximize see here there will be example so maximizable equal to true so if you are doing that one it will be able to maximize so let me show that one as well see we'll be able to maximize it that's all about the prime ng dialog section